Hey guys, what's up? Woodsman101 here. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about my new camera that I got and some other ideas for hunt for videos that I'll be using in the future. So let's get right away to the camera and talk about it a little bit. Um, the first, the camera I got was the Canon T5i. Um, this is a filming and photography camera. Starter, it's at the entry level price. It's about 550 bucks for the lens and camera kit. Uh, it's got the flip back screen, which I'm using right now to be able to look at myself and see what I look like. But as well as that, it can take an external microphone, which you guys have the Rode Video Mic Go uh, mic, I believe it's called, on there. It's just a you know entry level microphone, so hopefully you guys can hear me good right now. And as well for the tripod, you're using a Bonfoto, I think that's what it's called. I can't really pronounce the name of it. It's just a black tripod. It's nice and about this tall on me. Um, I can extend it to a point where it's about this tall on me, so it's perfect. So I can get up in just about every hunting situation I'll ever need it for. And as well, I got a. Let's talk about that lens first. Actually, I got a 18 to 55 size lens and a 75 to 300 size lens. So let me just show you the 75 to 300 size lens first, and then I'll talk about the 18 to 55 really quick. So for the 75 as it's set in right now to the 300 as it can go to is a sweet little bundle you get this I'm using this mainly for hunting because I'm going to be taking farther shots 15 this is good for anywhere between 15 and 150 yards so everywhere for gun to bow it's perfect it goes to 300 it's a big lens not super large so it's perfect for a little camera like mine entry level it's about a hundred bucks on Amazon not too bad but um you can auto you can manual focus and auto focus I have it set on manual focus just because that way I can use the choice of manually focusing it. Um, also, the fact that this is a big lens, I'm ready for deer season for this thing. And then let's talk about the 18 to 55 size lens. For the 18 to 55 size lens, it goes anywhere between 18 and 55, but um, I'd keep it on 35 for right now. And that's generally what I'll use for talking to the camera at closer ranges, you know, unboxing videos or whatever. Talking to the camera just in general, maybe some fishing videos I'll use it for. But um, this is definitely my hunting ca uh, camera lens. They both come with a, you know, obviously cap lens, which is, this goes to that lens. But um, it comes with a charger for it. You charge the battery on this. You can also plug it right into the, you know, camera if you don't want to have to pull out this, you can plug it directly into the camera, but I think this charges faster, and the fact that it tells you when it's full so you don't have to guess, and turn on your camera to make sure, you just tells you full, pull it out, put it back in your camera. Another good thing about this camera is that it has great autofocus, it's a good camera, entry level camera, perfect for someone like me that doesn't have a crap ton of money to blow on a camera. I can get this camera for Christmas or something like that and still be able to use it, you know, not if not have to worry about someone like me breaking it because I'm kind of reckless. I might accidentally break it and well, there goes a lot of money if I spend it on a nice $1,000 camera, which I don't have the money to buy. So I got this camera because it was a cheaper camera, yet still high quality camera that would still make high quality videos and pictures. So that part of the video is over. Now we're going to talk about some video suggestions and stuff like that that I could do in the future. First off, my grandpa gave me a recurve bow. Recurve bow has got the little pad there. Um, so these, I'm going to have to get some arrows, a quiver, and some string silencers for it and some broadheads and stuff before I even start thinking about hunting. Um, it's about 40 pounds by the time. It's 45 to 20 inches of draw and then I googled about how much it is per inch of less draw. I'm at 25 and a half inch draw. When I get a full draw, and this recurve, I feel comfortable shooting. I've shot a little bit. It's about, I'm assuming, per se, since we've not really taken it down in a while, I'm saying it's around the 38 to 35 ish range at my draw length because I haven't taken it down. You know, it could be more. I'll have to test it. I don't really officially know. It could be anywhere between 35 and 40 pounds. So that's enough to kill a deer if I get the right broadhead. And the broadhead I'll be using, if I were to go hunting, would be the Magnus Stinger, 7 8 inch cut. Um, small cut diameter broadhead, but good for penetration. So that's what I need out of this bow um, to be able to kill an animal with it. Um, turkey, pig, or deer, or whatever, because you know, the ranch in Texas to be able to pig hunt. So that's kind of nice. So another thing is trout fishing 
this spring because trout opener can't remember what month it is but it's this spring and trout opener the trout are stocked about a week earlier so they're done with a box of nails so they're pretty easy to catch especially for someone that's not super good at fly fishing as myself um I've got my fly box full of flies ready for the spring I've got a lot of tippet because i know i'm going to break off a lot or snagging a tree because i know i'm going to do that because i've done it plenty of times um <clears throat> So another thing is turkey hunting this spring, um, this summer going to Texas, and maybe next winter, so that's like a year from now, that's a ways away from now, um, going to Texas for a whitetail hunt, because I've never shot a whitetail down there other than an eight point I got with a gun when I was about 10. So it's been about four years since I've shot a whitetail down there, and I'd like to get one with a bow this time next time I go down. So that would be nice. Um, another video idea would be some more unboxings, I guess, if I save up some money and get some arrows for the recurve or whatever, or a quiver for the recurve, that could make a video. I gotta get arrows, a release, and a stabilizer for my compound bow, and a sight, type, sight, sight tapes for my bow, because um, I'm kind of out of those, because I'm shooting a one pin, you know, so I gotta mark the tape. And other than that, really not much, so uh, it's been a while, and um, see you guys next time on Woodsman 101.